This is Dabu7, taking a look here at the South Atlantic Anomaly. This is something I've talked about in the past, and it's really a unique feature here on the planet, especially when it comes to our protective layer, our magnetosphere, and the Van Allen belts, everything that keeps the radiation and particles from the sun and from outer space from getting in here. This is opening up, letting that in. Now, they say that it's not a huge problem to humans at this point, but it is an issue when it comes to the ISS, satellites, things that pass through the zone. They're passing through higher radiation, and it does make things malfunction all the time. Makes things burn out, glitch, and they're saying it's splitting in two, which is very interesting. It's splitting in two could mean a lot of different things, and they give some hypotheses here, and NASA trying to state that, you know, it's connected to the inner core, most likely, they say, but then offer no other proof or evidence. They go back to the same old crap they always want to say about a molten iron core, but can never prove it. They can give you a million computer models, but... They can never prove any of this on how it's exactly being generated unless they know exactly what's going on and they do not want to say. Because if they did say, it, it would probably crush the foundation of what they've got everyone believing here on the planet, the whole nature of our planet. Now, when you look at our planet, don't just look at our planet. Get your telescope and look at the planets around us. Don't take anyone else's word for anything Go look for yourself. You can do that, you know. Look at the moon that's right there. Look at our twin sister, Venus. You know what has two holes in its pole? Its north pole has two holes, and it pulls energy down into it. And it has beautiful auroras, and they're getting sucked down into it. And they've admitted this. You can find it if you go looking. They just don't want to talk about it. You know, they smashed two different probes into the moon, and when they hit it, it didn't thud. It reverberated like a bell, meaning it's hollow. Where else do we have auroras? Our poles. Wonder if there's any holes there, since they won't let no one go there. Look at Saturn. Look at the other planets. We start to see what's going on with these other planets. You say, hmm, I wonder if that could be happening here too. I wonder if this place could be thinner than what they say. If the body right next to us reverberates like a bell when they've hit it with probes. They've done it twice. When you see this stuff, a lot of stuff starts to, to come into question. Then, the question of pole shift. Magnetic pole shift, not the physical. Because the North Pole's been running for some time. The South acting weird as well, but the North really on a run. And when you look back in time, this has been one of the features that you see right before things start to flip. They start to run, they start to go a little haywire, and then they start, everything splits. All the magnetosphere goes crazy, the poles are all over the place, and then they find themselves. And usually when they find themselves and then they stop all the madness, they are flipped to where your compass will then read backwards. This has happened many times throughout history. Will it happen in our lifetimes? If it does happen, will it happen fast? Is it already happening? Is it a slow motion thing? I guess only time will tell, but it raises the question, is this South Atlantic anomaly connected to a pole shift in any way? I'll expand on this in the next live stream, so make sure to join me over on DLive. Going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. And Monday and Wednesday, I dive into certain subjects, and that's exclusive to DLive. So if you guys want to catch some really good talk where the gloves come off and we talk about stuff in depth that you're not going to find anywhere else, join us over on DLive. Much love.